What's up, everybody? Oh. Show. Today, zooming it up because life happens sometimes and you got to do what you got to do, right? So, yes, life happens. Life happens. We are going to, I've got like pink lights behind my head. We're going to do a really quick check in on uh, the manifestation episode from the last full episode that we put out, right? Mm-hmm. Anything, anything happen in your life manifesting wise? So, so I added stuff to my list if that makes sense yeah it does make um, sense uh I, I couldn't really think of what to put so i added uh, uh putting myself around uh, uh higher energy people instead of low and low energy people mm-hmm. so uh i added that to my list and i've been doing fairly well with that actually that's awesome do you uh, take a moment every day to like, think about, like, I'm attracting high vibrational people into my life? You, 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 you froze. Are you back? I did. Did I freeze? Yeah, you're back. Did you? I don't. All right. Where did you get me at? I asked if you've been, like, doing stuff every day, like visualizing the high vibrational right. people being in your life. Um, yes. Uh, well, you start by eliminating all the low vibration people, all the low energy, all the, all the, uh, I don't want to, uh, all the, all those other words. Sure. Uh, I got they, you. They're low minded and it was more or less like, all right, you are who you're around, you know, you, you are what you eat. Right. So I, uh, got rid of the low minded people in my life and I started from zero. Let's just say. And I've added few high energy people. And then now there's just an abundance of, of high energy people in my DMs, um, messaging me, calling me. I haven't talked to them or spoke to them in years. Mm-hmm. People that are actually like want me to be a part of whatever they're doing now, whether it, whether it's a clothing line or music, um, they have high energy and they see I'm on, they just want me to be a part of that. So yeah. I'm diving in, I'm diving into the deep waters here. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I actually also, actually also, I don't know what those words are. I sat down this week as well and started making a big list and a little list. And then from the big list and the little list, I like a, like a bit, like a long range goals, short range goals. And then I also made one that's just very specific on the amount of clients that I want to work with. And I mm. figured that is the best place to start to put all of my attention and awareness on that, right? Because that right. will then generate the income for me to do anything else that I want to do. So if I just focus on that one thing, sure, I'm still going to be like, yeah, I want a plant that's 50% off or whatever, you know, stupid shit. Right. Um, but keeping my energy focused on the exact number of clients that I want to work with. You don't want to have too many. No, no, exactly. But you also Just, don't want to have one. Right, righty Right. That's right. why I keep saying the exact number of people I want to work with. And I know that. Right. And I think there's also part of this, right, when we're manifesting, like there are things mm-hmm. that we may want to share with the world. And then there are other things it's like, this is no offense, this is just for me, right? Like this is mm-hmm. what I'm doing mm-hmm. for me, right? And you'll see the rewards that come from me doing what I want to do for me, right? Like we don't have to share everything with, with the world. Um, I'm curious for our listeners out there. Did you do your homework? Did anything happen in your life? If so, send, send us a DM, send us a message. You can email us at pondering, pondering fellows at gmail.com. And uh, let, let us know, let us know if you're actually doing your homework. I need a drink. And then we're going to talk about, the chakras or male, female, the divine, I mean, masculine, I, feminine. I honestly feel like these are both so important to mankind right now, <laughs> right? I wish they had a class in school on this stuff, but they don't. Uh, <laughs> That's why we're here. In the future, hopefully, in the future, they'll have like a a spirit science type of course you could take, right? But um, with that being said, male and masculine energy is definitely one thing that 
human beings need the master and so is chakras. So they're very important. And I, I, I definitely want to speak on either or well, right well, now I let's dive into the male and masculine, uh, male and female energy. Sure. So what, what do you want to, I, 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 so it's very interesting that you said you wanted to talk about this on, here's a cheap plug on August 13th. I'm teaching a class in Philly at Palo Santo wellness, um, balancing the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy. So it's a two hour Kundalini energy based class where we're going to do some meditations based for masculine energy meditations for the feminine energy meditations for both of them oh that's and super dope then we're also going to have sharing circles so we can after each meditation we're just going to share what may have come up right or what okay you know different people are thinking so there's a cheap plug if you want to come i'll be in philly on august 13th palo santo wellness you can register yeah, at palo santo's site stuff. yeah um where again at palo santo wellness in philadelphia south philly okay so, so you know, in me preparing for this workshop, you know, sometimes things are right in front of our face. They're always there and we don't even realize, right? So yes. I teach Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini Yoga is the divine feminine energy. It's the, it's the creative energy, right? That serpent energy that sits at the base of our spine. And I'm sure if you're listening or watching, you're probably like, this is a bunch of woo woo. But it's, we're energy. We are pure energy, right? So, I've been teaching this and working with this stuff forever. And one of my uh, um, people that I feel I connect with in the Hindi tradition is Shiva. So there are hundreds of, of gods in, in the Hindu, Hindu tradition. Right. But there is only one I god. I feel like I connect with the Shiva too. Right. Uh, right. And Shiva is this beautiful, like masculine energy that is of the earth but also of the stars so shiva is like this interdimensional being right mm -hmm. shiva is also the destroyer right but shiva is also the lord of the dance as well and right. has his cohort or his partner shakti right so it's shiva shakti so shakti is the divine feminine energy the energy of creation yes. the energy of birth and when we think about this within us, we have all of it. It's all within us. We have masculine and feminine energy. But typically, especially in America, when we talk about this, people are like, oh, feminine energy, what do you... I hate, I hate to say it this way. I'm not yeah, going to say even, it. Don't you know, even. Don't right? Even. But just You're bad, right. you know, just talk shit on it. But really, when you look at it, masculine energy is the analytical energy, the energy of we're going to get shit done. The feminine energy is the creative energy, the inspired energy, the energy of creation, right? So right. we need the feminine and the masculine to bring everything into reality. But they need to be in... in and, and, and the people that are at one with that, you will literally say to yourself, why is that person so happy? Right. It just comes with they're it. Just, it just comes with it. They're they're just chill. They're in that space. And then when, when yeah. we when we think about just our body, right, and our brain, right? So the right side of the brain is our creative side. Left side of the right. brain is the analytical side. Right side right. of of the human form is the feminine side. Left side, the masculine side. Right? right. So it, it's it's can we bring it together without this idea of boy girl stuff right literally coming right. to the energy and realizing that if we're in balance or homeostasis right where our body is functioning the way it should function we're good life is flowing it's when shit gets out of whack and it's not flowing and I feel like I'm talking a lot, but a great example of this. No, you're doing fine. You're actually, I'm marking on my notepad here because you're literally, that's what I wanted to get to. Keep going. So just recently on Netflix, they just released the Woodstock 99. I don't even know what it's called. Dumpster fire horribleness. It's a little mini documentary about Woodstock 99. And okay. in that, it is, there is so much toxic masculinity in it you can see it right, right. and you, like everyone that has watched it has reached out to me that i know they're like were you there yeah i was there and yeah it was as bad as 
as they portray it to be. It was a nightmare. But I had a great you time. You were there? Yeah. And okay. it, it was awesome, but I, I thought I was going to die. But I bring that up because th <laughs> that is... The, and that's a story, uh, an off, an off podcast story. Um, but okay. there's so much just male toxic toxicity there, right? Like they broke shit. Like you just see the anger and the rage in right, in right. all of all of the men that are there. And it's interesting because as they're filming, <clears throat> they were talking about they did a pr a pay per view, and the pay per view people decided to be really like we're going to show you everything like the people came to woodstock to get naked and do drugs that's what we're filming yeah the music is happening and we'll show you some of that too but we're yeah. showing you all of the other stuff and even there like the ladies were running around topless and they're like we feel so empowered and it's like there was this massive like disconnection from the toxic masculine right being like we're entitled and we're gonna break shit and burn shit and fucking ruin this place mm. and it in the beginning it started with this beautiful women like we're being free we're actually can just be and connect to this creative energy and you can see mm. from the time it started to what they had planned right what they hoped for to what it turned into right like they really wanted it to be this beautiful thing but they invite it all of the <clears throat> sorry about that that's I okay. got friendly neighbors um so it, it's like they started with this idea it was going to be peace and love and creativity right but the music at that time in 99 was corn rage against the machine limpistic limp biscuit all of these really angry music right not right, right. not saying it's good or bad angry no. right a lot of it is a lot Even of rap, anger right? right so you had that mixed with all of this anger right this toxic male energy that just led to exactly what happened this nightmare of a weekend right where they broke shit burned shit it was like it was literally like walking through hell and that was unbalanced energy Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want to see what it looks like, just watch watch that. Oh yeah, no, and, I'm watching and you'll be that like, tonight. Shit, holy cow! And yeah. that's because it wasn't in check, right? And also at that time, and they point this out in it. Also at that time, the the Clinton Monica Lewinsky stuff was going on, so there was a lot of toxic male energy really right. floating around. And I mean, if we just look at what has happened in the country in the last. 22 years it just kind of got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse because yeah, we're not keep going down this road i'm loving it we're not in balance but if we can get yeah. in balance and the thing is like now is the time of the divine feminine like she is rising up and ready to kick some right. serious ass right and... and and there has to be a balancing and it's all coming back and you can see how the male toxic male energy is fighting to hold on right like oh, yeah fighting yep. so hard to hold on with with the guns and the supreme court and abortion all of it that is toxic male energy fighting so hard right the ego to hold on and be like no i'm this like this is the way it's supposed to be when it's not right like we are supposed to be creative birthing life and beautifulness into the world not creating hell on earth right, right? so and at just our current time is the perfect example of what happens when your male and female energy are not in alignment when it's completely right. out of fucking whack and 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 i feel as though it's gonna come on as like a big wave right you're gonna have a lot of female energy at first that's just like and then it gotta settle down and hopefully one don't overtake the other and we it could grow in unison but we'll see all right there has to be a balancing and usually with the balancing there's you know, someone, some somebody has yeah, to get I taken mean, out at the knees, pretty much. And from and from, and that's and it's just crazy because the way I grew up, right? Not saying I'm I'm from some crazy hood or anything, but when you come up from the streets, uh, that female energy, forget about it, mm -hmm. forget about it. it. You can't have it, right? You, you can't, you can't feel have feelings what the fuck so it's it's a lot of i think right not i feel and a lot of a lot of uh just doing you know and 
the masculine energy is definitely over has been overwhelming it is it take it's taken a lot out from me hold on one second to even let go, go stella ahead. stella hey 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 stop it sorry everybody stella wanted to it, bark it's taken a lot from me even as a person to to let go of it like dude you don't have to be this big because i'm like six two right mm -hmm. i'm 260 now i'm losing weight so i'm getting a little bit more muscular so <laughs> it's even worse it's like dude let go of that big macho man aspect and and you have two girls you have a beautiful girlfriend like start being more feminine start doing more feminine shit so this saturday i'm going to a winery well, right, but that doesn't necessarily have to be feminine, no. right? It's just no, 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 no. Yeah. I want to balance it. But suit. right, There's right. No way I it, could it, get it, rid it, of all of my masculinity. Well, it's right, bad. right. But again, it's right. uh, it's like just that side of you thinking, but right? That going to a winery feminine. is feminine. It just is, right? It just is. It just is. But the masculine, <laughs> right? That you that you're in, right? You're I'm used to just having cracking a beer, watching the game. <laughs> it now sounded like you said. Watching. It sounded like you just said. I'm used to having crack and a beer. <laughs> he definitely did not say that. Let, let me clear that up real quick. I'm used. I'm used to cracking a beer. <laughs> there you and go. Watching the game, right? <laughs> I'm used to make me a drink, and it's just masculine. And as I'm sitting here, having a glass of wine thinking I, I can't wait for saturday to be honest with you you know what i mean and it's a very interesting conversation because i was at a birthday party uh, not a birthday party uh my one friend nikki uh she graduated from an electrical course she took um so the people i went with right i went with these four guys and we were going down there and they are them three as I'm sitting in this car and they're asking me, who's your favorite rappers? Who's your, like, we haven't seen each other in so long. So we're just trying mm -hmm. to recap. And I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, holy shit. Cause I've been planning to do this uh, male and female energy uh, episode and uh, uh, chakra episode. I've been wanting to do that for so long. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, holy shit. Like I'm, I, these dudes are real feminine, like real feminine compared to me. And I need, and they're loving and caring and passionate. And it's just like, holy shit, Eli, like calm the fuck down. You're not about to get in a fight, right? No one's coming to beat you up. No, like chill, relax. Mm -hmm. Take that fucking weighted j jacket on from being, trying to be so macho, take it off. Right, so mm -hmm. I took it off. So that I don't mean come test me. Don't test me. Well, but. sure, <laughs> but but I'm I'm embracing it now. I had zero feminine energy, and I'm embracing the feminine side. And uh, it might be a little weird at first. Even my girlfriend's like a winery, <laughs> you know. Um, are you sure you don't want to go to the baseball game or no? Like we're going to a winery. Um. And we're going to sit there and relax. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try all the wine. And hopefully we can drive home. <laughs> Maybe you should get someone to drive you home. Yeah, um, yeah. Uber. Y yeah. You know, it is. It, it's, it's, I, I, I love um, just this idea, right? Of that there are, there are masculine things and feminine things. And, and they're just mm -hmm. things, right? Like they are just I, things. I look at um shit, what is his name? Harry Styles. Okay. Right? And everyone kind of makes this big thing about Harry Styles because is Harry Styles straight? Is he gay? He kind of dresses like Elton John and looks like Elton John. And what does that mean, right? But he's an amazing artist, you know? Like Prince. Yeah, exactly. And it's like when you look at this, like who cares if he's gay or straight or likes likes right. whatever, right? He's making amazing art, exactly like Prince, and they're making amazing art because they weren't in their head of like, is this man mm -hmm. enough? No, like Prince is like, this is fucking sexy, and that's what I'm and doing. That's the one thing I love about kids, man. They don't they don't care to either know they don't know any of that. They're just being them, mm -hmm. and you see so much beauty come out of it. You know what I mean? I just watched a video of this kid. 
He's probably like five years old, six years old. I don't know. He just got a bike, right? And he's whipping down this fucking, this path, dude. And he hits this ramp and does a double backflip and lands it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how? You know, he's in just being him. He's just being him. And when you see people be them, the one person I like to bring up is, uh, I don't know if you might know him, but his name's DC Youngfly. He's a comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, he's an artist, period. He can he can draw, he can make music. He's just, he's for the people, right? He likes to put a smile on people's faces. And I'm just, it's just how nothing's changed him. And society changes us. Like, from where I was, I had to be who I am, right? And And it sucks that society does that to you because... If you couldn't just embrace who you are, period. Mm -hmm. Forget the boy and girl. Just who are you? Right? Embrace that. Find what your gift is. And some people have more than one. Well, right. And some people don't even let their gifts out because they're afraid someone's going to be like, whoa, you're a dude and right. you want to dance? Right. Right? Exactly. You know, like I wrote this blog for Studio B, this online place that I teach, teach for, and it, it was about, you know, connecting to your most authentic self, being your most authentic self. And I just told the story of myself. Like, I love to sing. I've always loved to sing. When I couldn't sleep right. as a kid, ma'am would play me Barry Manilow albums, and I would sing Barry Manilow. And then I would go to yeah, bed. Yeah, she took my MP3 player and tossed it. Well, well, yeah, they threw away a lot of my music <laughs> as well because it was from the devil or whatever. But whatever. <laughs> That's a whole other topic. But I'd love mm -hmm. to sing, right? But growing up, mm -hmm. I never, like, I would sing in a car, but for as much as I wanted to be in chorus, I didn't want to be in chorus because I didn't want to be the football player in chorus. And that was well before Glee, right? right? So there was no, like, oh, right? I didn't want anybody to know that I liked to sing or that I wanted to learn how to sing the right way. This is new. This is news to me. You know? Like, it's, it's I'd love it, right? Like if someone said, right. Joe, what's one of your favorite things to do? I'd be like, sing. Fucking love it. Love it. Hmm. So... But I, 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 growing up, I didn't let people know, right? Thank no, God. you were the most masculine man in my life. Are you kidding me? That's funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, because, like, you caught me at, like, I don't even know when. But it's... Um, it's... You, I graduated and going into college. Right, but you were young then. Like... I was a baby, but you were, you were, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? You were Joe. Right, you had fifteen girlfriends. Uh, that's not true. That is not. Uh, that, that is one hundred percent not true. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of friends, and you and you were one of the best athletes to come out of Hazelton, right? So it was just like I would go to games, and the head coach Patron would see me and be like, "I hope you're any. If you're just a slither of what Joe could do, you're gonna be awesome." Right? Ah, I'm blushing. Like, well, how good? How good was he? I was really you know, good. But, but at that same time, and these are things that, like, I would do in public, but people right. really wouldn't see, right? So, like, senior right. year, I remember sitting in the back of class, and, like, the girl sitting next to me would be putting on eyeliner, and I'd be like, put some of that on me. And I'd put <laughs> eyeliner on, right? Or they'd be That's painting their I nails, and I'd be like, I'm going to paint my nails, Right. And I just felt that I could. I had this long hair, and I remember going to a basketball game, and a girl did a French braid in it. And then I think I put eyeliner and lipstick on to go to the, the state playoff game. right? And I was just like, I didn't care. right? Like Part of me was doing it to be like, go ahead, say something to me. But part of me was also like, if I want to put eyeliner on, I'm going to put eyeliner on. And it mm. was like this interesting space because then my senior year of high school, Nirvana just popped onto the scene. Right. So it went from this crazy, horrible 980s rock hair music to Nirvana mm -hmm. and Pearl Jam and um, R.E.M. And like men like being masculine, but also being creative and being like, you know, fuck it. I'm going to wear a dress if I want to wear a dress. Right. Because when you're really creative, that's the feminine side. Exactly. And it's just going to come right. out. Right. But it's again, right. it's not. I'm going to keep prefacing this for everybody. When we're saying feminine, we're not talking about girl and we're not talking right. about boy. Like this is literally right. energy. Like it is negative and energy. positive. I don't know how we need to figure out a new name for this. <laughs> like, like the term woke got really played out. And even Trump is using the term. If you're woke, you're broke. 
Like there's, I stopped using that. So what I started saying is activated, mm -hmm. right? You're activated. Right. That's well. That's what we want to do. We want to activate our stuff. And I love the, 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 the same wavelength that we're on. And I feel like here's another cheap plug. I'm about to launch a, 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 a pre-recorded course, an online course called Activate, and it's all about Ooh. activating. Right? How can you activate yourself? Perfect. So, I mean, we've kind of been all over the place, and we've talked for a while already about this. Um, a, a, any other thoughts about this? How can so we let's, better? Let's how go, can we better manage me, this? How can we better manage our, our energy? What would you, if you were talking to one of your boys right now, what would you say? If they're like well, Elijah, what, how can I, I get more connected? How can I get more in tune with, with just me? Well, first of all, you gotta know what type of person you are, right? You gotta know if you're a male, if you're a male, if you're a masculine energy or a feminine energy, right? And then. uh I, uh, my one friend, actually, we were just in a gym. His name's Bodie Blanco. Um, he's what up, Bodie? He's, uh, he's, he's an <laughs> artist. And I was just talking to him about it because he, as in a, he's in a fight with both. He is mo so masculine. You have to be. You have to be masculine to try to get your music out there, to make people listen to you, to prove that you are who you are. But at the same time, you're trying to be creative and make the music and make good music at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's at a war with both. And I didn't know how to explain this to him. So I said to him in the gym, I'm like, Bo, would you say playing the guitar, playing the guitar, is that more masculine or feminine? I'm like, no, you have to make love to the guitar, bro, or it's going to sound like shit. He's like, well, then that's a feminine. That's feminine. And I'm like, all right, so what are the drums? He's like, okay, that's masculine. You're banging on shit. You're just... Right. Right. But so he, those drums, right. They can be really sexy, too. They could be. They could be. Right. Could be. When you drop but it in a nice groove. The Even the guitar is built like a woman. Right. Right. But all of it. <laughs> but again, it's all of it. Right. It's that it's right. that serpent you, energy. Right. So we're, we're, we're waking it up. Right. And the goal is right to get that masculine energy moving like a serpent going up, which will lead us into the next episode leading right. up through your chakras. Right. Leading up through each of your energy centers, because that Shiva Shakti energy. Right. That masculine, mm -hmm. feminine energy. And maybe if you're struggling with saying masculine, feminine for everybody that's listening, you can say Shiva Shakti. How about that? You have no idea what the fucking words mean. Shiva Shakti, right? <laughs> Shiva is the masculine, Shakti is the is the feminine. When you get that flowing, right? Then we actually, mm. like we drop into all of it because we're, we're in balance. We're in balance with who so, we are. It's all balance. So it's all balance. It and to go <laughs> off your balance, right? You have the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. You have up and down, right? Mm -hmm. You got... Uh, um, hot and cold well yeah so, the yin and the yang so, the good and the bad you right, have to so have it all if you don't it, here, the point is right n up ain't better than down hot ain't better than cold right well right because um, you might I'm, love the cold and i might love the hot right, who's right and, exactly but you wouldn't know what cold is if you didn't know what hot was exactly so you gotta know one to know the other Yep. That's the balance, right? You got to find that balance. Mm -hmm. um, you hit a lot of this stuff off the head, and I didn't even show you this paper I got here. Um, so here's one that I would like to – we could end with this if you want. Um, most people know a very masculine man or a very feminine woman, right? But have you ever met a very feminine man – that's with a masculine woman. I'm sure we all know. Yeah, 100%. We all know. Right. So here's what happens, right? Um, what happens when you have two masculine people together or two feminine people together? My, so, it might not flow with grace and ease. It, so this is where they say opposites attract, right? Like hot and cold. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you have... But ultimately... But ultimately, right, if we are doing work on ourselves, we can come to find that Together. balance, right? Of and that's all being, we're supposed to do. We need right, to find that balance. Right. And we got to be doing practices, right? Like, and I, again, I say this so many times, you got to sit down and breathe. I don't even want to say it meditating. You just have to shut up and breathe, right? Connect to your right. breath. 
Your, your breath right. is always going to be there and when we can breathe, right? And fall into that rhythm and just start there, like falling into the rhythm, right? right. As, it's Take like the, the, the in, the out, right? The, your inhale could be your masculine, your out could be your feminine. Mm -hmm. Like it really doesn't matter, but we have to do practices, right? To bring us right. into a state. Balance. Yeah, balance, yeah. So the point I was getting to here is when you have two masculine energies, right? Mm -hmm. So you got two masculine energies, they're together, this girl and this male, she could be masculine, he's masculine, right? So what tends to happen is the one person, um, how is it worded here? The one person tends to uh, abandon their energy, right? So uh, she'll abandon her energy and become feminine because the male, he's more masculine. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening is then they start button heads because she's not being true to herself. Right. Mm -hmm. So now she's not being true to herself or he's not being true to herself because either or it could go either way. Yep. Then the fights start to happen. Then then the headbutting starts to happen. And it's how do you how do you find the balance? You and you end up splitting up. Right. You Ooh. end up. Uh, you got to communicate. That's got to communicate. Right. But most right. most people aren't aren't communicating. Right. We, we, most people... we, we don't say shit until we get to the point where we feel we have to say something, right? Right. Because we're... And this is all new common knowledge. This is all new knowledge, right? For a lot of people that are just waking up, that are just uh, uh, just activating. Mm -hmm. um, this is all new knowledge. So when... If you have both people that have this knowledge, then you take that second to breathe realize all right i'm being very masculine right now i need to calm down or i'm being very feminine like dude i need to step up here right and put my foot down mm -hmm. um you just you have to find that balance and, and it's it's hard sometimes it it, it is challenging mm -hmm. especially if if one person's more active than the other right because to them it, well, what the fuck are you talking about well your woo woo bullshit Right. Well, but, yeah. And I think, you know, you're in an interesting space of the woo woo bullshit that you might be getting more of that coming back at you because this is like a new a new journey you're on. And as, right. as you walk down this new journey, right, this new path, people are going to be like, what? what is happening? What's going on? Right. And it's one of those things where we have to be like, no, I'm living my truth and this is the path I'm walking. Exactly. You can think of woo woo, totally cool, but I'm not going to stop because I, I want to be in balance, right? Like I want to live my best life, and that's the key. That it it it's we get in humans get into the space humans. of I don't want to have I I don't want to tell my partner that she's annoying me in some kind of way because she's going to take it personal as if I'm attacking her. But really, if it's just like. I'm just, I just want to be honest with you. Like I need my space. And right now you might be X, Y, or Z, right? Be kind, right? Instead yeah. of not saying anything and then which causes conflict, right? Because we're not actually communicating. And then all of a sudden one day someone comes home from work, they had a bad day at work and they just can't take the shit anymore. And it's just like, boom, a boom. volcano just exploded because there was yep. never any actual, Hey, what am I doing? That pisses you oh, off. Oh no, communication's definitely key. Right. Yeah. It's definitely key to most relationships. But I was I was getting to the point where um this is why opposites attract. Right. And um if anything, what we just talked about could help a lot of relationships, a lot of a lot of friendships. Right. And usually, you know, with the opposites attracting. A lot of times what happens is like we're seeing our reflection, right? Because all we are, we're just mirrors for each other. Mm -hmm. So when things annoy us, like when someone annoys us, usually they are doing something that we do that we don't like about ourselves. So we're just seeing ourselves reflected back at us as in a light that we don't like. That goes down the same road as um, just an example, right? Uh, uh, 
I'm an outgoing person. I'm a friendly person. I'm a social person. And I, I, I meet you, right? Let's just say you're a very beautiful Joe. And I'm just like, you, we connect and, and you love that I'm an outgoing person. You love those things about me, right? Then you start the relationship and then it turns into those ends up being, uh, well, you're too friendly. No, you can't go out. You're too social. No, you like, who's going to be there? And then it turns into a hate. Well, you, you, now you're hating me for the things you loved me for. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Usually man. because they want to be able to do, again, you know, whatever. Like, they want to be that social person. Oh, right, right? right. right. And they're seeing, right? Like, that's like the, the shadow, right? Like, our shadow. Right. It's, it's that, right. right? Like, why? Like, you. this is what you were attracted to, but now you're not attracted to it anymore. Usually because you like you want to be that social butterfly. You want to go out. You want to have those kinds of relationships. So, but because you're not, I still am because that's the person I am. You're now right. getting upset because you're not, right? And mm. it, it's tricky. I and mean, we got to look at those things and face those things. And, you know, when when we notice someone annoying the hell out of us, kind of be like, what? What am I seeing in what? Am what am I seeing in myself? I've never even thought about that. Never thought about that in my life. I'm definitely going to do that now. Like when I see somebody that's annoying me or somebody that's doing something, I'm definitely going to look at it that way. Like what is what what they're doing right now? What do what do I what would I want from that? You know what I'm saying? Like there's this kid at work. I can't believe I'm bringing this kid up right now. But his name's Jeffrey <laughs> and you spell it you spell it G O D. Okay? <laughs> And the kid is just brilliant. He's fucking smart. And I've, I guess I've learned to, to embrace that. Right. So this kid's hard on himself and everyone else is hard on him. Like, yo, you don't, you don't know everything. You don't know what the hell's going on. And it's like, dude, you know what the fuck you're talking about. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I embrace that. You know what I'm saying? And, and he loves it. And, and he, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that more often with, with everyone around me. So watch out. Yeah, it's a great practice of self-exploration to really figure yourself out. And mm-hmm. there's days, like, I've been doing it. I called um, Amy, ex-wife Amy, my friend Amy. Hi, ex-wife. Um, la- last night, and I'm like, hey, let me ask you this question. And I'm going to not tell everybody the question because it's very it's dealing with my personal shadow. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. why do you think I hate these? I don't want to say hate, but I'm like, why do you think these people annoy me so much? You know, and what I'm recognizing is like they're expressing themselves in a way. that maybe I want to express myself, but I'm not. And I'm thinking like, oh, look at them doing this or that. But really, I want to be doing that. Like right. having that freedom, and for some reason, I've you know limited myself. But it, it's great because you start uncovering, right? Like we are just this beautiful onion, and we just keep peeling more layers of the onion away until we finally get to our core. But as we peel those layers away, we you start discovering shit like, oh man, I've really been getting in my own way a lot. Right, right. Yeah, you get in your own way. So first of all, it's super dope that you could call your ex. Um, and, and on a, <laughs> that's so sick, dude, because a lot of people have an insecurity and, and uh, whatever the case may be. And it's, you know, you. So that's super sick. Right. And, and, and to be able to do that as on a friend level and and adult. Right. So so to bring this full circle. To your Woodstock of 99. Yeah. I seen a video, and I don't know if this was Woodstock or whatever, but it went viral, and I'm sure everyone's seen it. And it's this one, and I'm going to say it for how people first see it, all right? You got a weirdo standing there and dancing by himself. In oh, that's just stuff. at some random concert. I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. So... He's just standing there dancing and enjoying himself, right? And everyone's making fun of him at first. But then it took another weirdo. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, wait, I'm 
he's having fun and I'm as weird as him. And he gets up and goes. And then the next guy gets up and goes. And then before you know it, people are up and going. They so, don't even know what they're getting up and going to. Right. The whole mountain's dancing. Yo, that video is so humbling and so beautiful in itself that just people need to embrace that. Right. And don't it, it, point at and make fun of be a part of right and usually everyone that's pointing me like oh look at that guy they want to be that guy they yes, want to have that yes, courage to get yes. up and just dance right one thousand percent right and you 1, know like we have that courage when we're when we're little kids right how many videos of exactly. little kids do you just see dancing and having a good Dude, time this kid did a backflip bro it was, like <laughs> it was awesome i just i just posted this other chick she's a boxer she was knocking trees down mm-hmm and it's just, bro, if you have kids, <laughs> no. I'm talking to everyone out there. I'm talking to you, world. If you have a kid, a child, embrace what they're good at. Fuck the school system. Embrace what they're good at. My stepdaughter can tumble and flip her ass off just because. She mm -hmm. wakes up, does a backflip into the kitchen. I want cereal. My man, my man. So, I, my bad. One of my best friends called me, and I gave him the button. I'm sorry, Cody. But uh, you got to snippet this. But, yeah, dude, embrace your child's gift. Embrace it. Embrace it. Because you learn what you love as a child, and you learn what you're gifted at as a child. And that's why all of us adults are walking around like fucking morons and don't know what the fuck to do with ourselves because <laughs> we wanted to be adults so goddamn bad. Or when you were little, someone said, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop that. I think we're, we'll end it on this on this story. This is a long episode today. So oh, I think man. I may have told you, you know, you're familiar with Jack Black, the actor. Yes, of course. Right. Of course. Of so course, he was on the Smart List podcast a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about, they were like, how did you get into this? Because his parents are like aerospace engineers, right? Wow. Exactly. So he was like, oh, we were at... Um, okay some family dinner and they were playing like a charades kind of game and he was like i got up and i killed it and i loved it he was like and then the next one happened and my stepdad was like little jackie looks like he has something here we should look into this and his stepdad saw right this this joy that he had right just being mm -hmm. jack black being the goofball that jack black is and was like we should we should help him explore Embrace this. it, yeah. And yeah. that's what he did. He started doing all that's these, beautiful. you know, commercials when he was a kid. Like, I had no idea that Jack Black had been doing shit. Yeah, you shit. look at actors like that and you're like, how the hell is he an actor? How? Right. And it's just, his instead of his family saying, oh, Jack, stop it. You're being silly. So you're like, Jack's got some skills. We should celebrate this, right? And now he tells a joke and makes a movie and makes just as much money as his parents. That's fucking right. Awesome. Probably more. Probably more. Probably more. Right. Right. That's awesome. I did not know that. Beautiful story. So exactly, do exactly what what e Eli just said. Right. Celebrate. Celebrate those kids. Right. Don't squash their freaking dreams and don't tell them that you can't be an artist. Do not put your uh. fear. On to them. Right. It's your fear, not Just theirs. Just because you suck that catching a football <laughs> or you suck that running don't mean your kid will. Oh, my God. That's such a touchy subject for me. I got you. All <laughs> right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll we're going to wrap it up. Um, with, wrap it up. With this, this episode. If um, another cheap plug, if you enjoyed this and you want to take a trip to Philly or you're in Philly, come practice with me on August 13th. At Palo Santo Wellness, you can register on the Palo Santo Wellness site. I'll put the link somewhere so you can just click it. And we'll be back next week. I think we're talking about the chakras, right? We're going to talk yeah, about the so energy centers. I, I say we start with the bottom three and end with the top four. All right. Sounds good. And uh, everybody out there, we'll see you really soon.